Why? Speak what brings you to the realm of Ash. <laughs> don't, don't mix those up. Don't mix those up. Something's going on with me, and I don't think Mom and Dad would understand. Yeah, sounds ominous. I'll pass. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something, and you are probably going to think that I am crazy. Er. Crazy. Er. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not saying that I believe you, okay? I'm not. But if I did, I do happen to have a time-traveling theory. A couple months ago, I was having an argument with some of my guys in my D&D group, right? Department of Defense? What? No, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Super nerd. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I just walk into your lair and claim to be a time traveler? So, I thought you never wanted to see me again. Hard to resist. I know. Okay, but relax. I'm joking. What's up? What's up? I'm pregnant. That's not funny. So if I can laugh at you. You're sure it's mine? <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Who else knows? Just you. Can we just talk about There's this? nothing to talk about. There's no way in hell I'm gonna be a dad at 19. So either you have a better idea or I'll get the money. It'd be nice if you'd be a little more supportive. That's not happening. Blake! Blake! Where are you going? Away from you. Okay, this isn't my problem. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's both of our problem. No. It's yours. The first thing Michael tells the doctor is that he had a standing room service order that he delivered daily to Muriel's penthouse. She would have canapes and caviar every evening before heading to have cocktails in the premier lounge. He tells the doctor that he usually came between 6.30 p.m. and 6.45 p.m., which was approximately the time it was when he arrived earlier that evening. <laughs> 